Last episode we learned that in Tim Keller's customised catechism, the answer to the question, what is our only hope? Which is a pretty deep and important question. It was answered by saying, our only hope is that we are not our own, but belong, body and soul, both in life and death, to God and to our Saviour Jesus Christ. That's a pretty big opening question from Keller. But these questions are meant to be straightforward and provide us with answers to all life's difficult questions. Imagine you answered a friend's question of hope with that answer. They would probably come back to you straight away with a few more questions. One of those questions would probably be, what is God or who is God? Thankfully, most catechisms and creeds answer that question. I think we got a snapshot of that last week. The New City Catechism is no different. It does answer that question, but as we were reminded last week, it wants to focus on us first. Question 2 of the New City Catechism asks, What is God? I suppose in first reading I wondered why choose what instead of who and although I found no answer in the resources that I could gather I made my own mind up that who puts slightly more of a human emphasis on God. By asking who it's almost as if someone was elevated to the status of God rather than God being the first and last author and creator of all things and therefore what is God? God is the creator and sustainer of everyone and everything. He is eternal, infinite and unchangeable in his power and perfection, goodness and glory, wisdom, justice and truth. Nothing happens except through him and by his will. God is the creator. He makes all things and by him all things are made. He is the sustainer. Nothing is kept alive. Nothing is kept going. Nothing is sustained without him. Everyone and everything, he makes it happen and keeps letting it happen. He is eternal. He has no beginning or end. He is infinite, limitless and unable to be measured in space and size. He cannot be changed in his power or in his perfection. He is good and that will never change. He is covered in glory. He is wisdom. He is justice and he is the only truth. Nothing has happened, nothing is happening, and nothing will happen except through him and by his will. Reading that definition, there is a weight to who God is and how that definition describes him. There is almost a sense that if that is who God is, if that is true, ultimately knowing God, knowing that God, would be an incredible life change. And we're only on question two. Uh,